Hello again. Uh, this time we're going to build on the uh, the last video where we built a uh, what was it called, Matthew? A piston tape memory thing. A piston piston tape memory <laughs> thing, and we're going to connect a seven segment. Well, we're going to build a seven segment display, and then we're going to show you how to connect up one of the segments. Yes. And then we'll we'll leave you with the knotty problem of actually running the redstone to the other segments. But um, principles exactly the same but um, just rather a lot of wiring to do so we won't bore you with all that we'll just yeah. connect up a segment or two okay so where do we start Matthew so you want to go out probably at least 10 blocks from this redstone here just to give yourself enough space so I brought it out over here okay so at the bottom it's going to be nine long so you can actually do follow the seven that are there already, and then just do an extra one at either side, that could be a nine. And then you want to make, um, you want to go eleven up, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then you've just got to fill the rest of this in. So I think with creative mode, you can do, if the easiest way to do this is if you go up three blocks, uh, hold shift and walk, you can actually place three blocks three blocks on top of each other like this. That's a good tip. Um, that should speed it along a bit, hopefully. This is going to be a pretty huge seven segment display then, isn't it? Yes, I think each segment is actually three blocks long, I believe. Okay. Uh, right, it's plus one. Okay, so... That's kind of the big square bit, and now I need to make it look like an actual seven segment display. So I think if we start like, yes. So you want to go down from the top one and take out the middle three blocks. So it'll be three blocks either side, like that. And then you just want to make it look like a seven segment display like this. So you scroll all the way around uh, like this. One, two, three. And like that. So now we have the kind of eight thing. So what you want to do now is if we go around the back like this, you want to kind of place almost like a backboard like this. You can actually just go all the way around and almost make a big rectangle. And then just take out the corner blocks. So we can take out those. So we've kind of got another eight on the back. Okay. And then if I just quickly go around to the front, you can see that would be a eight. And then the way this works is to get rid um to make a number you push the blocks that you don't want outwards. Right. Okay. So if I wanted to make it a zero, then all these would come out like this and we've got a zero. Right, yeah. So what I just did there with the, so yeah, what I just did there with the blocks where I kind of put them on the back. You want to do that again, but with a uh, gap in the middle, like this. You want to go all the way around and do that again because then we've got something to place the pistons off. Right. Yeah. Which are going to actually push all the blocks. Actually, no, that's in the right place. Ah. The piston placement can be a bit of a pain. Um, for these side ones, I found it easiest to go right into this corner and just kind of look here. And, and of course, you need sticky pistons for all this. Yes, all these need to be sticky pistons. Take out these corner blocks again, actually, so I don't get confused and place them in the wrong place. Uh, like that. Yeah, so for the side ones, probably easiest if you just go right into this corner and place them like that. Uh, I'll do that on the other side as well. And now for these middle ones, I found a lot of the time, if you can, uh, if you for this top one, if you stand up here and place them, then you'll get them facing the right way. For the middle one, I seem to remember, oh, if you stand here, yeah, they place upwards, which you don't want. So, you can just... If you do this, 
and go back onto this level and yeah. stand here and place them. Make sure I put those blocks back. And do the same for the bottom ones. Yeah, if you just fall back like this. And place those. Good. Right, so now we've got all the pistons in place, but now we need to hook them up to redstone. Right, so there's quite a lot of connections to make here, all yeah. of which can't interfere with each other. So, for the top ones, what we're going to do is we're just going to have a block like this, and a torch, and redstone like that. You see all these blocks extend now? Oh, let's have a look at the front. Yeah, so that segment's disappeared. Yep, and uh, now for the side ones, uh, they're going to go like, we get rid of these blocks here, bring the block out like this, we want to place a, place a torch on this side, which will power these two, Okay. and the redstone on the top will power that top one, so that's gone. Super. I suppose you can gradually work your way through all of them, and as they get to power, then the segments will disappear, and you know you've done that segment, and you can just work your way around a lot. Yep. So, this one, uh, the middle one, I think, yeah, we use repeaters here. So, this is going to look like this. Let's place a torch here, repeater here, here, and here. And then if you do redstone either side of the torch, I guess all those sticky pistons. Good. So now I've got all the top done. Just got this, like, U shape at the bottom. Okay. And um, these ones here are the same as the other side as the top side ones. So again, just the torch on the side. It's done like that. Do this one as well. Like so. Yep, so now I've just got the bottom one. Is that going to be the same as the middle, basically? Yes, so blocks like this. And then repeaters, torch, and redstone. So if we go around the front, Brilliant. Yep. Right. So now we need to... Well, first of all, we need to get outputs like this all the way along here. Okay. Um, which might be a bit tricky to do. Hmm. Well, why don't we just do one or two? Maybe do the, the two end ones. Can we do the two end ones? Okay. Yeah. Oh, well, let me place this here. There we go. Right. So... What I'll do is if we use, I'll get some stone. So I can connect this one up to, we'll just connect up to this torch here. So we've got to make sure we're powering this block from any direction. Okay. So it's probably easiest if we use a repeater like this. Now for the first one, <laughs> it's very easy, you can just do it like this. You could just run a straight line to it. But, just to make it easier for ourselves... For the later ones, I suppose you need to go out to the side for these ones to leave yourself room yeah. for the, So the central ones can go fairly direct. Yes, but it is... Oh, sorry, a bit of lag there. Got to be careful that you don't go too far out, otherwise you'll see lines of redstone sticking out from the side of your display, which you don't want. Okay, yeah. So, I think we go. We just get away with this for now. So let's show that this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, so that's 12. So that powers this one. You can see this piston line here is now yeah. attracted. Excellent. Um, yeah, should we do another one? Yeah, is it worth doing one on the other side? And then it's probably worth changing one of the blocks in the in the drum right, yeah. so that it's a transparent one so we can see the, the signal switching as yeah. we flip the buttons. Uh, I imagine working out exactly how you get the patterns right is a bit of... Um, well, you can either sit down and plan it or it's trial and error really, I, isn't Yeah, it? <laughs> I, I usually opt more for the trial and error. Yeah. Um, so do you think hook... Yeah, hook you know, that one up. But it'll be the same as that one, won't it? So. Yeah. Oh, all right. Well, tell you what, just put some um, transparent blocks into the drum okay. so that we can... Uh, Show how it as as we press the button. I'll go and get in the in the right place for pressing the button, and then you can record. Okay, so the way um hmm. would it be better if we go to a design that already has the 
all hooked up. Uh, actually, no, we'll just do it like this for now. Yeah, do do one for now. We can always come and do that if we want. Can't we? So the way you want to do this, once you've got all of your outputs like this all connected to each one to a different part of your seven segment display, I find the easiest thing to do is just to come down here and say you want to make, we'll just use the boring example of a zero. Yeah. That means we want to power, uh, that means the only one we want to power is this middle one here. Yeah. Because if we power this one, then this will go back and we'll have a zero. Yeah. So what we'll do is you just, we'll just, um, so just to power this one, which means we need an output from this one, so all the others would have to be glass. Okay. So you just do something like this, where you replace everything <coughs> on that row with glass except for the middle one, and then you can actually come around to this side and you can see if what you've done has actually uh, yeah. changed it to look what we want. And if it hasn't, then you just have to adjust where the glass goes, and which is which blocks of glass and which are ordinary blocks. Yeah, and then okay. when you're... When you're happy with it, you can just press the button. Should I press the button then? Yeah. So yeah, you can press the button, and then you can just do your next one. So then you do a one, and then a two. So do you want to go around the front of the display, and I'll press the button a few times, so we can see how when it gets to the open part. Um, yeah, I'll just change some of these blocks to okay. glass here every now and then, just so we can... Yeah, that's probably... Uh, and then maybe... One in the middle? One. Yeah, I'll okay. do it. So now if I press the button, on, there it is. Yep. And it's off. Gone. Excellent. So what could you do to sort of, um, if you wanted to make it more colourful, I suppose you could just use different coloured blocks really, didn't you, or something? Or, so yeah. Anyway, yeah. Um, I find white wool seems to work best just because you get kind of that dark contrast like that with the shading when you have a black a block back one. Yeah, I see, yeah. Uh, with some of the darker walls, it's not as obvious. Um, you can also use redstone lamps. Okay. But I think uh, you have to be careful with the redstone that you don't accidentally do more than you want. Yeah, that makes the build a bit more complicated, I suppose. Yeah. That way. Um, you could probably more or less use this design. Uh, these redstone things, like this torch and this redstone. But obviously all these blocks would be lamps instead of pistons. Right. And they would actually be right next to the display instead yeah. of offset. Okay. Great. Uh, anything else you want to point out in this design? Um, the wiring, getting it from here to here, can be very tedious. Um, it's hard finding the right distance away as well, because if you do it too close, then you've not got enough room to manoeuvre around, and if you do it too far away, then you have to try and put repeaters in the middle. <laughs> okay, so is it is it best to do the middle ones first, and then do the outer ones, or start at the edges? I What's tend to start, I don't know if it's a good strategy, um, <laughs> but I usually start, I usually do the outside ones to the outside kind of ring here. Okay. So I usually do these two ones here, goes to the bottom, and top okay. right ones and on the left the same yeah. and then you try and get the three middle ones as your up as your yeah. bottom middle and top ones so I suppose it stays symmetrical for that bit and then it all goes wild as you have yeah. to kind of <laughs> just try and dodge the other connections yeah one thing you definitely want to keep in mind is that you can do when you've got a repeater you can do things like this so you can put the power through the okay. block and underneath or you could have one to the side like this. Yeah. Definitely want to keep things in mind, but also if you've got a redstone line running across here, mm. you're going to get interference because if I do that, it's still powered. Oh, okay. So yeah. you've got to be very careful that you're not interfering. If if it's not working, if you turn off one light, if you replace one of these blocks, so if I replace this with glass and this is still powered, it means something's interfering with it. Yeah. You need to try and find it. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think that's probably more or less it. Actually, that block needs to be there. Right. Okay, that's great. Yeah.